Hello all, welcome, welcome, welcome my truth seekers, welcome to the truth show. In this truth seeker requested video, yes, truth seeker requested video, I will discuss the similarities between Kathy White and Aaliyah's death, or Ali's death. One was found dead with an alleged aneurysm, or whatever, or was it a brain tumor? Who knows? And the other one was unfortunately uh, both unfortunate death may they both rest in peace was blown up in a really odd plane crash something please note that this is all alleged i've never met any of these people i've deeply researched all of my information This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you've read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. As we all may have heard, Kathy White was found dead in her apartment on September 2nd, 2011, two days before Beyonce's big announcement of her pregnancy with Blue Ivy at VMAs and before her birthday on September 4th, 2011. Call it coincidence, mm. but I don't believe in too many coincidences, so we shall see. Anyway, here's a backstory of Kathy Michelle White's sudden passing away. Kathy did not die from a brain aneurysm, as reported widely around the internet. According to an NYPD detective who told a source, Kathy's cause of death is uncertain. The autopsy and taxology reports and the death are considered suspicious. Oh, yes. Kathy White died exactly one year to the day the story of her and Jay-Z's affair was leaked. Y'all yeah, remember those coincidences? Mm -hmm. Here's exactly what the NYPD told this source. A 911 call came in from an apartment on 130 West 19th Street in Manhattan. The ambulance came and took Kathy because she was sick. Yes, she was sick. They took her to the Beth Israel Hospital where she died. Despite hearing, you know, me hearing she was nearly dead or utterly dead before being found but let me continue i heard otherwise but you know let me just continue with this story it was too early to be speculating that the aneurysm killed her though they performed an autopsy later to check out her cause of death but someone might have given kathy a lousy drug so they did a toxology test not sure what the results were that was covered up and it was never leaked as far as i know Oh, I'm not done yet. Two weeks before her death, Kathy was contacted by an, an influential tabloid investigating the Jay-Z connection. She gave them little information to go on, but according to one of these sources, following her conversation with the tabloid, she called Jay and told him that she was going to go public with their affair for a price. This all happened in the last two weeks before her death. Then a little more than 48 hours after the announcement that Beyonce was pregnant with Jay-Z's first baby, this young lady suddenly dies under suspicious circumstances. Oh yes. So was Kathy trying to extort Jay-Z? I don't know. But if Jay-Z and Kathy had a phone conversation, the cops should have been talking to Jay-Z. Why? Because Kathy's death should have been investigated, which it was not investigated, as we all know. Here's what a close friend of Jay-Z said. And I'm reading this via this blog, so and I have the links below, don't worry. He said this, are you kidding me? Jay had nothing to do with her death. He wouldn't throw his life away. Beyonce knows Jay fucks around. Everybody knows. If Kathy were going to expose Jay, no one would believe her. Jay got too much to lose. The baby coming at all? Take Jay's name out of your conspiracy theories. It seems that Kathy White's complete autopsy and toxicology reports never came out. Neither did any of this fascinating information find its way to the media, not even the acquirer of all places. 
There are several deaths associated with both Jay-Z and Beyonce. There was a bodyguard who recently was killed slash died. I did a video about that. I will leave the link below. The media control in this country is amazing. I mean, we should consider that Beyonce and Jay-Z are in more control than you know. So this is the gossip from the street on Beyonce. Okay, and again, I'm reading this, all of this verbatim from this blog. I did update and change some lines because this is an old blog and I'm reading this, so I need to format it into the way I like to speak. I will put the links to all my sources below, okay? Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. Word is on the streets that Beyonce is not as innocent as you guys will like to think she is. I really don't know how true the story below is, but I will say I know for a fact that more than 70% of the story below is accurate. And there is more to the story that was not told. If you have ever wondered anything about B, here's your chance to find out all the dirt. Number one, Rita Ora, and I heard this myself back in those days. I think I even did a video about it. Rita Ora, Jay-Z, and Beyonce have threesomes with the new songtress Rita Ora. Beyonce and Rita had a close relationship, if you know what I mean. Beyonce likes to get it in with Rita without Jay-Z, which has caused strains in their relationship. Do y'all remember when Beyonce started dressing and looking like Rita Ora? She does this with all of Jay-Z's mistresses or fantasies. You know, to be the kind of girl he like, you know, all that stuff. Think about it. Why else would Beyonce, who is very insecure about other females, have Rita Ora, a pretty young thing, around her husband 24-7? Beyonce didn't like Rihanna either, especially since Jay-Z had an affair with her, and that's why they are rarely photo together, even though Beyonce and Jay-Z consider her, quote-unquote, a little sister. And then later retracting a rumor as a PR stunt. Anyway... There is always a cover-up. The second part I am not reading because I don't think Beyonce will lie about being pregnant. She may allegedly be in many things that I'm mentioning in this video, but lying about being pregnant is just unnecessary. Now, back to Kathy White. Okay, pertaining to Kathy White, Jay-Z's fingers are all over this. I mean, he get rid of her and Beyonce is happy. That's all you need to know. Just saying. But know that this has been happening for some time now. Jay-Z and Beyonce do not sleep in the same room. They try to play up a huge front like they are a picture-perfect, happy couple. They're pros that they've been doing it for years. But they cannot stand each other behind closed doors. There is a power struggle. Heck, any astrologer or anyone who understands zodiac signs with no Virgos and Sagittarius are not meant to be in relationships. They can be friends, but they cannot be in love. It's not in the stars, people. It would be so freaking toxic and too much compromising. They are two controlling individuals. You see, Beyonce wants to control, but Jay-Z needs it. Yeah, uh -huh. So, number four, Beyonce is not as dumb as you all think. It's a front, so her fans can think she's the victim and innocent and all this, but, I mean, we know she used to not be a good speaker, but she is far from stupid. She hates that some people view her as a stupid singer and is trying to change that. I never thought she was stupid. I thought she was naive to put up with Jay-Z, but it's obvious I've been ignoring the signs and news about the true nature of their relationship. Take a look at this. You see, Jay, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Yeah, yeah. It's when he got the first number one record of his whole career. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> oh, good timing. That's what he said. Yo, that boy, is, he's a, a piece of work for real, man. <laughs> did, 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 his did, timing did, is impeccable. Did, who's defense better, him or Mayweather? Did you see the elevator? You saw the elevator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Show. Oh. I think Mayweather, I think Dre might got Mayweather a little bit. He might got Mayweather a little bit. Because he did move to the side. Like when she spit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did move to oh the side. Like, <laughs> he did do He just slip, slipping him, slipping and dodging all kind of little blows there. But, you know, he did the right thing. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. You know, as, much, right as much as people would like to laugh at it, it's really laughing at so much success. Would you have done the same thing? Nah, I would, I would probably f***ed up, man. Under those circumstances, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you can't see. Fifty, she's so small. Stop it. She's so small. You could have just. Nah, I would have did it once or twice. Chill, chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
know you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch. I don't believe you that. I don't believe you. You wouldn't care about your corporate sponsor because Dame Come guys put out a video oh, and he said Jay had to do that because of his corporate sponsors. It ain't bugger. Well, it ain't, just not your corporate sponsors, but you in an elevator that you don't know the cameras running. Mm -hmm. So he's not considering corporate sponsors. Right. He's just not. He's just not responding to it for whatever yeah. reasons. Is, is actually because we don't know what is motivating her. Right. And then you see Beyonce not moving. And B was one time she jumped up or she jumped off of the ledge, came running over because she thought me and Jay had issues, and I was like, "What the?" And I was like, "Did she really just jump down and run over here like Beyonce that?" Beyonce jumped off a ledge. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Was she the cosmopolitan? Huh? Right. She really a superhero. She jumped down and no, she was like this. What? Like that Bonnie and Clyde for real? Yep. You try this or what, boy? I'm here. <laughs> Word. She okay. bugged out like at me. She looked. I said, "What's the lounge with her?" She <laughs> she looked at me like that. I was like, "What?" I looked. Jay started laughing. He was like. <laughs> 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 Yo, you know what it is. I said, oh, what the f you got going on, man? B at the hell. B jumped down off of the joint. Like, what? What's up? Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. It, matter of fact, Floyd was there. We was, we was in the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And I was bringing him to say what's up to Jay, because Jay don't really like him. Why Jay don't like Floyd? Oh, he probably said something, you know, crazy about his mouth, about Beyonce or something. Mm. Sheesh. Wow. So, um, that's that's crazy. So it has also been told, and this, again, is alleged, Beyonce rarely takes care of Blue. She has several nannies, and they all do the demanding work. She is not mother material. All she wants to do is sing and dance and chase after Jay-Z. She does not have a bond with Blue Ivy. I don't believe Beyonce is not a good mother. I mean, I heard several stories from, you know, her, um... Uh, her friends and members of Destiny's Child saying she's very motherly and nurturing and stuff, so I don't believe the story. But you know what? Rumors, this is rumors. It seems that Jay-Z, on the other hand, cannot get enough of his new daughter and is obsessed with her looks. He does not want her to look like him at all. He thinks it will ruin her. Jay-Z is very insecure by his looks after hearing he has been ugly all his life and even hearing it from his own wife. Now that's low. But anyway, Beyonce is a heavy drinker. She has done cocaine. This is all legit before, but not frequently. She smokes weed from time to time. Everyone knows that. Now, this I do believe, but I do not think Jay-Z is ugly. I am not sure what he's doing with his hair nowadays. I mean, I love dreads and black men in them. Trust me, they're very hot, very sexy. But Jay-Z, I'm not sure what he's doing with his hair. But, but it just could be me. Could be me. Number seven. This blog also says that Jay-Z's true love is a woman from Brooklyn. He still visits and takes care of her, but do not have a sexual relationship. Well, maybe not at this time. Uh-huh. You see, Kathy White had threatened to reveal her relationship with Jay-Z, and that is why she was killed, allegedly. And then, a little more than 48 hours after the announcement that Beyonce was pregnant with Jay-Z's baby, this young lady suddenly dies under suspicious circumstances. This is legit tea, but people are not believing it because of who it is about. It is sad that this is how Beyonce and Jay-Z would never fall from the top. Too many gullible people out here worshiping them, and which is true because people literally worship these people. They think they are literally the queen and king of Hollywood in terms of Hollywood couple and musical royalty which is sad because there's a lot of beautiful couples and a lot of talented singers and rappers out there anyway take a look at this and don't worry i'll leave the links to all my stories. now right here is the first issue that kanye had with jay-z he's taking us back to the time when he was in debt you know he was in a financial bind and he just felt like he needed information on how to pull himself out of that and maybe jay-z didn't offer the information you know as much as he needed or as much as he wanted him to at that point in his life so Kanye pretty much took issue with, I got this guy over here that I call my brother, you know, that has all the information. He's already a billionaire, but he's not giving me any information on how to set a factory up on how to, I can't pick up the phone and call this guy and pretty much get answers that I need answers to, to pull myself out of this hole and pull myself out of debt. So that's Kanye's first issue with Jay-Z. Let's continue. So you feel like Jay was tossing you money as opposed to giving you the information? Because you know, the infamous line on 444 is, you know, I gave... Kanye 20 mil without thinking. He gave me 20 minutes on stage. You know, what was he thinking? Oh, I think it was 20 mil without blinking, whatever it was. He gave me $20 million. That concept that you gave me, that he gave me the money, that's what frustrated me because actually 
it, the money was, he got it from Live Nation. He, Rock Nation was managing me at the time, that's something normal, that someone would give someone a, tour, a touring deal. Mm -hmm. It was a touring deal. But the fact that it was worded that it came from him, I'm a very loyal, emotional, like, artist person, you know. That made me feel like I owed more than just the money itself for the fact that it came from him. Mm. You know, it just put me under a bit more of a kind of controlled situation. It's like, and I don't, I'm, I'm only acting out of love. I don't need to be controlled. I just need to be inspired and informed. And I can be the best yay in that way. But if I have the, I gave you this on it, and I don't have the full information of how it happened. All right, man. So this is for the people that don't understand what Ye just said. He's saying that Rock Nation was managing him, which is Jay-Z's company. Jay-Z's company got him a touring deal with Live Nation, which is a touring company. So the money that paid Ye the $22 million was from Live Nation, not Rock Nation. But Jay-Z went and got him the deal. And Ye is like, well, the money didn't come from you. The money comes from this company that pays every artist a tour. So why are you upset as if the money came directly out of your pocket and I messed up? Why would you put that out there? So Ye's next problem is he's pretty much just upset with Jay-Z saying that he gave him something. When Ye is like, you didn't actually give that to me. That company gave it to me. And technically, they didn't give me anything if I have to go out there and work to earn the money. So I was working for that. So how did you give me anything? That's Ye's problem with Hove on this one. And he also has a problem you know, with Jay-Z wording it that way because Ye is infamously known for not wanting to be controlled. You know, so when he worded it, when Jay-Z worded it that way, it made Kanye feel like, okay, you only saying that to control me and get you me to do what you want me to do on that stage and complete the tour and make the company, which is Rock Nation, look good. Let's continue. So, what can we deduce from these facts? Well, Kathy and Aliyah both have affiliations with Jay-Z. They both also had connections to Sean Combs. I mean, did you know that Sean Combs, a.k.a. Puff Daddy, a.k.a. P. Diddy, well, who cares? Anyway, was the one who introduced Kathy White to Jay-Z? Oh, yes. They used to hang out in Las Vegas together. Oh, and guess what? Beyonce knew this. Heck, it was rumored that she allegedly had a few lesbian affairs of herself. Oh, yes. But being this big, black, iconic power couple who many, many worships means so much to them. They have to keep the brand. They have to keep that image. They take Bonnie and Clyde, that whole thing, they take it very seriously. I mean, it was rumored that he wanted Aaliyah to be his Bonnie, but she played with his mind and feelings and allegedly chose Damon. No one rejects Jay-Z, especially not a woman. I mean, he has 99 problems, but a beat isn't one, right? Isn't that what he says? Heck, looking back, it makes you see their on-the-run little intro clearly. Beyonce took most of the hits in the skit. I believe some of you remember me questioning this. And Jay-Z was just laid back. I mean, there was even a scene where Beyonce was covered in blood, and people still thought she was innocent. Her fame and the old Beyonce blinded them. Okay, um, notes for the Beyonce and Kathy White, Jay-Z, uh, Aliyah's video. Okay, strategy is um, put interviews of people saying that Beyonce was taken up for Jay-Z when they had a heated conversation or whatnot with Jay-Z and the on the run video showing her taking most of the hits. Have we been looking at this differently as you know, Jay-Z manipulating her, okay? But how far and deep has the manipulation gone? Is, at the end of the day, can we say, what's the question? Is Beyonce the same person? Or did she change? At the end of the day, we all need to ask this question about this girl we saw, you know, singing gospel hymns and things of that nature to sitting butt naked on glass horses and grinding against ropes, half naked. Can we say at the end of the day, is Beyonce, the same is she still the same person or has she really have changed and we don't know who she is anymore i think she doesn't even know how drastic her change is me too because that's the thing is like in the story i love the writing of it and i still sometimes go back just to study the writing it's genius because you really don't realize how much the main character changed until you read it the second time 
Mm -hmm. And when you read it the second time, that's when it really hits you how drastic that change happened at the end. Now, is the old person even still in there anymore? And that's what makes you think that, like, you ask that question. Is she the same person? Can mm -hmm. you really say that? Mm -hmm. I mean, character development, I mean, it's a good thing, but... Right. And but you really, still hold on to your old self. Yeah. You know, I'm like still, yeah, someone who's, drastically different. Yeah, like, even me, I'm still me. I yeah. I can validly say I'm still the same Alexis, just a little more flavor. And I'm still the same goofy freaking person, nothing's really freaking changed. Yeah. Still pure-hearted, not evil. I mean, I just distant myself from people who are who does nothing but just bring me down. But that's like you said, character building and maturing. So can we say honestly, is she even the same person anymore? Are we holding on to this old image of someone who's not? Because that's what we really want to see. That's what we really want to see, but that's really not what she is. But she likes to sell that image because it sells records. Yeah. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. evidence is speaking otherwise.